Hi, this is Debbie, and with the Food Prepping Channel, and as you can see, I've got my work cut out for me today. I've got a bushel of corn, well, it's 65 years, most of the time it's 60, but they put 65 in there, and then I've got this that I've already done, so I'm get working on it, I'm just taking a break to show you what all I'm doing, and I've got to shuck all this corn. I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to freeze it all in food saver bags and put it in there. This is all, um, it looks yellow, but it's really silver queen corn. And as you can see, let me zoom in on this one. You see this one has, doesn't have corn at the very top of it. Well, of course, I'm going to get off all the corn, and the way that I'm doing it is that you do not um, pre-boil it. You don't do any of that. I'm just going to wash it, get all the silks off of it, then um, put it in the bowl and cut all the corn off, and when I get to that point, I'll show you, but then you just put it in your bags and you freeze it, and that way it has a fresh taste. Some people um, do it, and last year I did it on the cob, but several of them, even with the food sealer, I guess being moved around in the freezer, the bags, let the air came out of the bags. So I'm not gonna do that this year. I'm gonna put it in the bags, make sure that they're um, sealed good and I may even put them in more freezer bags I'm not even sure yet I've got to find a place for all this corn in my freezer because my freezer's absolutely full but I definitely had to get some corn before it went out and so I will bring you back when I get to everything else that I'm going to be doing okay I'm back I have shucked 63 ears of corn. Julie washed it. I shucked it. We've got it in the pots. I've got two big pots here, this one and this one. And now I'm going to show you how to get the easiest way to get corn off of the cob and for me to freeze this. I have my bunt cake pan here. You put the corn on top of it the little hole right there and then you just go down it and it all falls down inside of that and you can twist it and you can get your corn off and then I'm going to do all this corn well some of it I'm going to save for corn on the cob because I'm going to cook on the grill today so Anyway, that's all you do is you just put your corn on here, start, and you can feel where your cob is, go all the way down, turn it, and then when this gets full, I put it in this bowl back here, and I'll just keep on until I get as much done as I can, and I'm probably going to... Um, just do part of it at a time and then go back and um, freeze some of it. We'll put it in the bags and then I'll bring you back when I get to that point. But this is all you do is you just take a sharp knife, go down, turn it, get all your corn off. And then just throw the ears away and see there's my corn that I'm going to put in bags, so I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. You can see I have a whole bag of corn here, and because I'm using my food saver, I do not have to blanch this. I don't have to do anything but put it in my food saver. My food saver is a V3245, so I've got it in here, and I've got, I hope this is going to work. I've got the little, the, um, bag down inside here. I'm going to close this. I've got it on normal. 
this is moist. I think I'm just going to keep it on dry though and see since this doesn't have any water in it and see how that does. All right, then you push vacuum and seal. See, it went all the way up the fourth light. Now it's sealing it. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. This is so weird. And it did take the moisture out. I should have, guess, put it on moisture. But this is definitely sealed. I am going to wipe this out. And I'm going to just put it in there and seal it again. I've got two on the bottom. I'm just going to go on and seal this again. And I'll show you how to do that. All I want to do is just get another seal on it besides this one. So I'm going to put it down like that, and then I'm just going to hit seal and let it seal it again. I've sealed a, a lot of things, but I've never sealed corn in this, so it definitely um, feels weird. All right, now let's see. Yep, see it sealed it again. So I've got all that, got it all the way over. I wish you could feel this. It is, I mean, it's just like hard as a rock. So I know when I take this out to thaw it out um, this winter that it's gonna be really good. So I just wanted to show you that's all you do with corn, you do not, and you can do it with corn on the cob too. Last year I did it with corn on the cob. This year I'm doing it with corn off of the cob. But with using your food saver, just remember you don't have to blanch it. You don't do anything. You just put it in the bag, seal the bag, put it in your freezer. So I'll bring you back and show you some more when I finish. All right, I'm back. You can see I have six, at least, quart bags. This one, I'm not even sure how much this one is. That's a big, big bag. Um, I put at least four cups in every bag that I have. And some of them have five and six. So, I did get six freezer packs out of them. I've got four ears of corn out on the grill. Um, cooking chicken on the grill. So I've got that out there, and then I've got a big pot of corn on the stove cooking for this week. So I just thought I'd bring you back and show you. It's very simple, very simple. I have never seen, um, it, you know, for one thing, and I know y'all go think this is stupid, I have, I've just never cut up corn off of the cob. I've always eaten corn on the cob, so I didn't even know how to fix it. My mom, had to, I had to call my mom and ask her because I wasn't sure what you put in it when you cooked it or whatever. And mom is just like me. She doesn't like butter either. So, I mean, when you cook this, you've got to cook it for at least 20 to 30 minutes because this hasn't been blanched at all. And um, get it. you just take it out of your freezer. When you freeze it, put it in your pot. I mean, put it out, let it thaw. Let it thaw in your refrigerator is the best way to do it. And then put it in your pot and cook it with butter if you want it and salt and pepper. Uh, we use margarine. And, I mean, of course, there's a million things you can do with corn. So, um, whatever, but... I had never, ever fixed corn off of the cob. I've always eaten corn on the cob. Because I love corn on the cob. But I decided this time, because it takes up so much room, and as you can see, this freezer is filled to the hilt. And that's mainly meats in there. Um, my other freezer to my refrigerator, which is big, it's filled. So now I have no room for anything else to even freeze. And I got apples coming up. Oh, no, I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, if you like this um, 
this freezing uh, freezing recipe, <laughs> freezing and um, sealing it with my food saver, and shucking it, and taking it off the cob. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.